Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to another part of DBZ BT3. In the last part, Goku gave up against Cell, and Gohan kicked his ass. And in this part, Cell is going to attempt Gohan to unleash his true power by pissing him off and attacking his friends. Yeah, the Cell Juniors are about as strong as Cell at that point. And keep in mind, it's not just Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, and Trunks there. It's a lot of the human fighters as well. And there go the frames again. Okay, man. Excuse me. Yeah, Gohan is in a completely different league above everyone else right now. He hasn't gotten to just one form above Super Saiyan. He has... Well, I mean the Ascended Saiyans that Trunks and Vegeta had. He has unlocked the very next level of Super Saiyan, of Super Saiyan 2. So you can imagine Gohan is going to wreck everyone's shit here. Especially these Cell Juniors. Hey, you actually hurt me. Congratulations. But yeah, Gohan... I love this scene in the anime because he just plows right through these guys. Alright. Alright, sorry about that. Not sure how I'm gonna edit that, but... Whatever. But yeah, like I was saying, Gohan plows right through these guys in the anime. Like, he disintegrates their bodies with punches and kicks. That's how freaking strong he is. In fact, one of them, he kicks so hard that... He drives his leg through the ground and then hits the Cell Junior. Yeah. And it still disintegrates him in one blow. Don't get carried away, kid. You mean that tiny friend of yours that you think that you can beat me? Did you not see how quickly he made those Cell Juniors disappear? I'm not used to hearing the word awesome used properly, instead of just slang. What the heck? He just stood there. He literally just stood there. Okay, okay, you've made your point. What the fuck? What the fuck? He just did two bars of health to me, and I literally could not do anything. What the hell? Also, Gohan Super Kamehameha uses up only two blast gauges. Or two key gauges, I should say. And Gohan, I'm pretty sure I told you to use your attack there. Fuck, I might lose this. Fuck, I'm dead. I lost. Are you kidding me? That was supposed to be really fucking easy. Are you... Ah. Alright, let's try this again. 
Hopefully I don't get fucking obliterated this time. That'd be nice. Beam struggle! And I totally won it. There. Now he can't completely obliterate me. Ah, I hate that. Whoever goes second always wins those type of struggles. All right, let's advance. I don't believe that for a second. That sounded so lame. So we got another beam struggle here. Yep. We just did this, but I'm not complaining. Because he's a Super Saiyan 2. Yeah, in the anime, he is wanting Cell to suffer. He's not killing him outright like he should. Okay, come on. It also should be noted that not every little bit of the Cell arena can be destroyed. Most of it can be, but like you see there, some of the ruins remain. There we go. Aw, oh, come on. What the heck? You just raped Cell up the ass with key blasts. Okay. Awkward pause there before it finally ends. That was kind of lame, actually. Alright, we unlocked the final battle. And it's actually the final battle of the Cell Saga. Who would have thunk it? They actually named it appropriately. But yeah, next time on DBZ BT3. We will be finishing up the Cell Saga. I almost said Sand Saga. See you guys then.